Okay. I'm just gonna set that off. I, I, it's now night. The reason why that video cut short was because it was a 19% power uh, on the camera. It probably will go even more down, but I've now got it. This cable right here is connecting the camera up to a, a power to a power slot, uh, power thing thingy. Uh, what's in my music bag? Ghost hunters. And then found it, they bust, and I'm still buying it. <laughs> yeah, and so that's what's in my bag. That's uh, and then there's a thing here on Monty Python, and uh, this is some guy that I heard had um, he had helped out. Uh, he did the guitar solo. I guess he would started to do the guitar solo or had been involved in creating the backing music to uh, old time rock and roll by uh, by um, Bob Seger and I looked him up and, and I found his videos and then I just threw him up into a playlist and so it's just an example of somebody who you know is not really on the front lines anymore or never was or you know they were they got some popularity but you know, it's just an example of a playlist, and so it just says that anybody could be up here, you know. And so I put him in there, as well as what's in my bag, some, some things to watch, you know. And it's really for me to watch TV. I, watch, I can watch the Australians' 80s music videos. I can see the best uh, French pop pre-COVID from last year. This entire site is pre-COVID. It's... Um, I lost the ability to update it um, two weeks before COVID hit. I, I had no idea, of course, COVID hit. But it was like, why is it failing on me? Why can't I get anything from Google API? And it wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me touch the Google API at all. And so I was just like, I mean, I couldn't. What the API means is that when you do a search, um, whenever I tried to suck in a playlist off of YouTube, uh, I couldn't check to see what the duration times for the videos were or whether they could be viewable on a, in an embed, which are some checks I have to make. And I couldn't do that because the GoDaddy provider wouldn't um, connect, couldn't connect to Google API for some reason. Something was getting in the way. And I just kind of gave up on it, you know, and I said, eh, I'll deal with this later. Then COVID hits, and then I thought, then I look at it. Maybe this could be a, a strength that my website uh, is pre-COVID, so all the content that's in there um, came before COVID hit, and so it's kind of even if the videos disappear, and I have no way of like actually going through and and weeding out the uh, the videos that are not there. I mean, I could work on that, but. Um, it also exploits something about the site that even when videos are missing, you still can go to the next channel and can keep watching. Because um, that's one of the strengths is that it, since it's time synced, it doesn't, it's the playlist is going to play something different when you get back. It's just like if you're on T, you're watching TV and then all of a sudden, for some reason, you lose the reception on a channel, you can go to the next channel, then you can come back to it and it will play something, you know. It will it'll get back. Um, these icons here, they're not perfect either. I need to I need to work on it, but I really don't. I'm so lazy, um, and I really for me it's just the idea that was a big deal. I didn't really care about the um, the quality of implementation. This is rockabilly. And it looks like it's got some some Huey Lewis and the News in it. I'm not going to bother to go into it. Random NPR music is um, is fun. And I, I like these NPR things because I'm pretty uh, sure the, they're not going to be uh, the uh, they're not going to be the next and last piece they're going to play is called Risica. and it's um, Risica is an old uh, sort of Renaissance Italian term. Uh, where at the beginning of a fugue, 
So it can, if you, you would uh, embed some themes which would then be expanded upon later in, in the piece. And so this is at the front of the album, and there's a few things which come back. So yeah, this is classic. The nine o'clock news, music inspiration. Uh, let me cut the scale down here because I can't see all the video screens. Um, is there? There is a two one mode, so that I could zoom it up in two one. You can really. That's like the full zoom right there. That's as far as you can go on this uh, browser. So Jane extrapolation, what's in my bag, A station. Uh, A.R. Raman is like the most popular Indian musician right now. And uh, A.D. station can playlist combiner, best of the web. Notice it says videos, number of videos. That's the actual number of video codes. It's just video code references. I don't have any videos on my site. They're just, they, it just, it just connects it here's a Mikado, you know. We auto size it. Hold on one second. The video needs to Texas that know who Gilbert and Sullivan are, which is kind of sad. Um, and uh, let's see, or 80s bands, music with benefits. I, I went through reviews a second ago. I got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You can go in there and see you like them talking about various aspects of random NPR music. I was, let's see what there's in there. Oh, that was the thing. Why it? Oh, it said, yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm thinking of music and stories is what I'm thinking of. That's further down the list. That's way back here. I think it, it goes way, way back here. Somewhere back here is music and stories, caravan plays. Uh, there it is, maybe music and stories. I just missed it. Let's see what's in there. So it's got the random NPR playlist in it, but it's also got, uh, but but it's got also got the moth and, and this other thing called uh, uh, 2000 Go Go um, inside of this. So it throws these in. Who's this? This is uh, CFE. So a 
I'm doing is I'm just taking the YouTube API and I'm manipulating it with JavaScript. And when you change channels, all it's doing is it's tying my site and saying, okay, can you send me up a playlist and then and put plop me down right where it thinks that where you think I should be watching this video from at this particular time. So it's time synced in a sense, not really correctly. Um, what would be better is if I put a if I put the actual map inside the JavaScript, um, and I just I'm too lazy to do it. Someone else will do it. You know? That's the way I think. And I don't push things. Amy McDonald, this is alive. So this is that top 2000 go go and it sounds like it's production music so I don't want to mess with it. It's um, it's probably going to prevent me from uploading the video. I'll probably just tell, you know, I'll probably just tell YouTube in particular because I can't use my key anymore. I'll just tell music, uh, tell YouTube that I've got the rights to use the if I ever get anything that says that uh, because I'm, it's fair use. I'm not doing anything uh, illegal. Maybe I can get the other guys to agree. I don't know. International hits. And so this is really just presenting a way that people can present content from YouTube um, so that anybody can see it. So they can have it their own way. And this is probably, there are probably programs that will do this for you. Um, 